all metals come from minerals formed in rocks. Lithium, the lightest metal known to man, is no exception to this and sits at number three on the periodic table, immediately after hydrogen and helium. The minerals spodumene and lapidolite are two of the world's most important sources of lithium as they contain high concentrations of the metal. Spodumene in daylight is a light pearl grey prismatic crystal. However, when exposed to ultraviolet light, fluoresces a salmon pink colour. Lapidolite is a purple platy mineral, and while it may appear attractive, does not glow under ultraviolet light. Spodumene and lapidolite form mostly in rocks known as pegmatites. Pegmatites are formed from hot sludgy fluids squeezed out of hot granites as they cool. These complex pegmatites are mined for minerals like lithium, tin and tantalum and other valuable rare earth elements. So let's take a look at what Infinity Mining found recently. This vision was taken in low light over a lithium fertile pegmatite at Infinity's Tambora Lithium Project. Here you can see the mineral crystals of spodumene, the greyer mineral, in a matrix of albite, the whiter mineral. The darker minerals you can see are muscovite and lapidolite, the other main lithium mineral. The dark mineral is mostly lapidolite and muscovite. Under ultraviolet light, the spodumene crystals fluoresce a brilliant salmon pink colour. The purple glowing mineral is the albite, which also fluoresces under ultraviolet light. However, the lapidolite, quartz and muscovite remain dark. From a visible estimation here under UV light, the pegmatite appears to be carrying over 50% spodumene, with up to 80% in places making this a lithium-rich pegmatite, commonly referred to as high-grade lithium ore. The next step for Infinity is to send a sample of this lithium-rich pegmatite to a geochemical laboratory for analysis to determine the real percentage of lithium metal in the rock. The Tambora Lithium Project is just part of Infinity Mining's 697 square kilometre Pilbara portfolio.